You're watching NFL Daily. Mitchell Rance here from Chat Sports, ready to answer all y'all's questions. Remember, we go live Monday and Wednesday. Tom and I, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. Also, shout out to Harrison and Chase. They also go live on Thursday for any given Thursday. So if you want your guys' questions answered, come join us when we go live. Let's go to Evan Henders, Dolphins Draft Moss, safety from Iowa. You can go ahead and go that route. I think Javon Holland has been very impressive back there at safety. Yes, you do need another safety at least to be able to fill in, but the Dolphins have other major issues. Like, you got to fix that offensive line. Like, your first three picks of this year's draft could all be offensive line. Maybe you're looking to getting a running back a little bit later on. Depends what happens with Mike Gesicki, but your main need, like, let's be real, it's offensive line, and it's not even close. Let's go to Neria Osborne. Will the Dolphins keep their streak alive and make the playoffs? I mean, it's a hell of a streak. They were 1-7. and seven. You need, if you're Miami, you need to win out, I think, to have the best chance of making the playoffs. If they do win out, you're 10-7. and seven. I think you got a shot. The issue is this. You have, you have very winnable games. You just finished the season out with Tennessee, and your final game is up against New England. That's obviously not a very simple game. Next one's coming in from Jillian Callahan. What is the biggest need for the Dolphins? It's offensive line. I mean, you, you need to be able to go out and find yourself a solid offensive lineman. You got good cornerback play. You got good defensive players. It's being able to go out and protect Tua Tungavailoa or whoever else is going to be the brand-new quarterback next year. Do you use Manscaped? If you were the Dolphins and could only extend Mike Gesicki or Emmanuel Ogba, who would you pick and why? Thanks. I love Mike Gesicki. I think he is a phenomenal tight end. I just think I'm probably going to go with Emmanuel Ogba because he's a really, really solid elite edge rusher. Plus, his ability to be able to bat down balls, shout out to Manscaped, is also very impressive. Also, the fact that Miami went out and drafted Hunter Long, which I think was a wasted pick in the third round out of Boston College. If I had to pick, I'll go with Ogba just because I think edge rusher is a bigger need than tight end. Let's go to Kevin McFlurry. What matchup do you think we'll see in Super Bowl 56? I mean, the matchup I think we're going to get this year is probably going to be the Patriots and the Bucks, even though it's not the matchup that I want. I don't really want to see the Chiefs. If I get the most ideal matchup for me, I, I guess I would probably say the Arizona Cardinals and the Buffalo Bills. That, that would be the matchup that I personally would want. So let me know, y'all, who the best team in the AFC is right now as it stands. Is it the Chiefs? Could it be the New England Patriots? They have the best record right now with a 9-4 and four record. Even though it pains me to say it, I'm probably going to go ahead with Kansas City or Patriots because that would be the two teams that I wouldn't want to play right now. Now, if you guys want to go out and hit that, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for daily NFL news and rumors. And to make sure that you never miss a thing, don't be that friend that's sitting at a bar, restaurant. I don't care where you are at work. And you're like, wow, did you hear about X, Y, Z? And you're like, what are you talking about? That guy, he doesn't play for that team for three years. That's not going to happen if you subscribe to Chat Sports. So hit that sub button. And underneath every single video, you're going to see a bell. Click that bell, click all to turn on your notifications. And I want you guys to try to be the very first people to comment on our video. So the people who I know have the notifications turned on and are a part of our first comment club, on December 6th, we released a video here at Chat Sports. Here were the top five commenters, the first people to comment. It's Snoopy, Lively's Report, XX Sanchez, XX88. That just sounds like somebody that uses Manscaped. Jonathan Miller and NB, major shout out to all y'all. Appreciate you for supporting the channel. Let's go. Brady is the GOAT of GOATs. When Brady wins his eighth Super Bowl ring this postseason, will they rename the Lombardi Trophy after Brady? Well, Jack, I think this is a great question, and now we know what your burner account is. I just, I don't think it's ever going to happen, but maybe. I mean, there's no doubt Brady is the goat of all goats, but the Brady trophy? I just think the Lombardi just sounds better. Rolls off the tongue more. One of my favorite things about playoff football is the, the wind elements, the weather elements. And if you're like me, ever since I moved to Dallas, I'm going to be honest, I, I've gotten kind of soft. And when I walk to work every day, I'm a little bit chilly right now. Luckily, we got some awesome NFL hoodies. And if you take advantage of our deal by going to chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie, you're going to be able to get one of these bad boys up to 50% off. So usually they're like $70, but right now you can get them for $35, what, $34.99 math. 
not my strong suit. Either way, though, we have all 32 teams, big and tall. There are a bunch of different variations of these hoodies. If you need a holiday gift, if you need even something like a white elephant and you got to spend under $40, these are amazing. Chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. And this is also very important. They will arrive before Christmas. So if you need something, we got you covered. Chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. Now, one of my favorite drinks around the holidays is eggnog, and now that the holidays are here, I've been trying to lay off a little bit, but I went to a chat sports party over the weekend hosted by Harrison Graham and his wife. She made some kick-ass eggnog, and I had a few glasses, I'm not going to lie. But do you guys like eggnog? Because my mom, if I buy it for the house, she hates it. Like, she will not drink it. She just thinks it's the most disgusting thing ever. But do you like eggnog? One for yes or type zero for no. I could see Matthew Peterson liking the consistency of eggnog. He seems to want to swallow anything like that consistency. So let me know. Do you like eggnog? One for yes, zero for no. Let me know.